Cholera is a highly infectious acute diarrheal disease caused by the bacterium Vibrio cholerae, typically serotypes O1 and O139. It primarily spreads through contaminated water and food, particularly in areas with poor sanitation and hygiene practices. It can be deadly if left untreated, killing within hours in some cases. The hallmark symptom of cholera is profuse, watery diarrhea. The diarrhea is often described as rice water due to its appearance, which resembles water that has been used to rinse rice. This diarrhea can lead to rapid dehydration and electrolyte imbalance if not treated promptly. Cholera often induces forceful vomiting alongside diarrhea, worsening fluid loss. Rapid fluid loss from diarrhea and vomiting leads to severe dehydration, with symptoms like extreme thirst, dry mouth, reduced urine, dark urine, and dry skin. Cholera-triggered dehydration and electrolyte imbalance cause painful muscle cramps, especially in legs and abdomen. Dehydration and fluid loss raise the heart rate significantly, a common feature of cholera indicating severe dehydration. Severe dehydration leads to low blood pressure, worsening the risk of shock and organ failure if not treated promptly. Dehydration, electrolyte imbalance, and infection fighting efforts result in extreme fatigue, making daily activities challenging. Dehydration causes sunken eyes due to fluid loss, indicating dehydration severity. Dehydration dries mouth, throat, and nasal passages, causing discomfort and swallowing difficulties. Cholera disrupts electrolyte balance, notably sodium, potassium, and chloride, leading to weakness, confusion, irregular heartbeat, and cramps. Inadequate sanitation and hygiene contribute to cholera spread, particularly where toilets and handwashing facilities are lacking. Disasters and crises disrupt water and sanitation, increasing cholera risk, especially for displaced populations. Drinking contaminated water from rivers or wells heightens cholera risk. Tourists in regions with cholera outbreaks risk infection from contaminated food or water. Certain jobs, like sewage workers or healthcare professionals, expose individuals to contaminated environments, increasing their cholera risk. People with existing health issues, like diabetes, may suffer more severe cholera infections due to weakened immune systems. People in regions with poor sanitation and limited clean water are at high risk. Malnutrition weakens immunity, making children and the elderly more susceptible to severe cholera. Initially, Vibrio cholerae enters the body through the consumption of contaminated food or water. The bacteria adhere to the lining of the small intestine and produce cholera toxin. Cholera toxin triggers secretion of large amounts of water and electrolytes into the intestinal lumen, leading to profuse diarrhea and dehydration. Rapid fluid loss result from watery diarrhea containing large numbers of bacteria that perpetuates the cycle of transmission when passed into the environment. The diagnosis of cholera is based on symptoms such as sudden onset of diarrhea and dehydration. Microscopic examination and culture of stool samples to identify Vibrio cholerae bacteria is also done. Rapid diagnostic tests that involve immunochromatographic tests detecting cholera toxin or bacterial antigens in stool samples. The treatment of cholera involves fluid replacement. Oral rehydration solution or intravenous fluids is often administered to replace lost fluids and electrolytes. Antibiotics such as azithromycin or doxycycline is prescribed to reduce the duration and severity of symptoms and shorten the duration of shedding of Vibrio cholerae. Zinc supplementation, especially in children, to reduce the severity and duration of diarrhea. Nutritional support including the provision of therapeutic foods, fortified supplements, and breastfeeding support for infants. A balanced diet rich in nutrients helps restore energy levels, support immune function, and promote overall recovery. Severe fluid loss from diarrhea and vomiting leads to dehydration, causing symptoms like thirst, dry mouth, sunken eyes, and lethargy. Diarrhea removes essential electrolytes like sodium and potassium from the body, causing weakness, irregular heartbeat, and muscle cramps. Severe dehydration can lead to hypovolemic shock, characterized by low blood pressure, rapid heartbeat, cold skin, and altered mental status. Prolonged dehydration can damage the kidneys, leading to acute kidney injury or renal failure, characterized by decreased urine output and electrolyte imbalances. Electrolyte imbalances can disrupt the body's acid-base balance, leading to metabolic acidosis, which causes rapid breathing, confusion, and fatigue. Prolonged illness weakens the immune system, increasing the risk of secondary infections such as pneumonia and sepsis. 
Various prevention strategies can be implemented to control the spread of cholera. Vaccination with oral cholera vaccines can greatly reduce the risk of infection. Two main types of oral cholera vaccines are available, the killed whole cell vaccine and the live attenuated vaccine. Cholera vaccine provides significant protection against cholera, especially when combined with improvements in sanitation and hygiene. This vaccine is recommended for individuals living in endemic areas, travelers to endemic regions, and during outbreaks to control transmission. Provision of clean water and adequate sanitation facilities to prevent contamination of water sources. Promoting handwashing with soap and water, especially before eating and after using the toilet. And ensuring proper cooking and hygiene practices during food preparation, especially seafood. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Stay tuned for our next video.